Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and now let's continue with our Docker for Absolute Beginners course and in this video we are going to install Docker on a CentOS 7 machine and run our first container. So Docker uh, engine is basically a client server application where the daemon is a long running process which basically manages your containers, your images, uh, takes care of your networking, C groups and things like that and then there's a CLI client which basically uses the Docker API to interact with your docker daemon or the, your docker server so if you see the doc if you see on the documentation page uh, there's an architecture diagram as you can see in the center of this uh, architecture there's docker daemon which is basically exposing a rest api and the client docker client or docker cli client interacts with this rest api uh, to basically manage your containers your images your data volumes your networks and things like that so this is basically the architecture how the things are provisioned the docker installation page you can just scroll down a little and you will see how to install docker using yum and this is what we are going to use so let's just copy these command as it is and go to our machine and run them installing yum utils so we are installing yum utils because yum util is what is going to provide you yum config manager which in this example as you can say they've used to install the repo so we are also going to do the same let's copy this command to install the docker repo clear the screen docker repo has been saved as you can see now let's go to the installation command copy this go back to a machine and run this yes so this is installing all the required package for docker so this is going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video and come back when all this stuff is installed as you can see docker is now installed so let's see if we have docker command and yes we do have docker command so now let's try to run docker version and you can see i'm getting error and error so the error is coming because we have not yet started the docker service or the docker daemon so to do that let's do system ctl start docker and now let's run the command again and you can see it's working so now one thing what we are going to do is we are going to check for the status and you can see this docker daemon is running as docker d all right we clear the screen to verify that our docker installation is i mean complete and there's there are no other errors what we can do is we can run a test image which is docker run hello iphone world and you can say it's saying that it's unable to find the latest image locally so it's going to download it from the docker hub repository and you can see it has printed hello from docker so this has worked so our installation is working without any errors now let's go back on to the docker documentation website and you can see they have also started the docker service then they have run the docker and hello world to test your docker installation one thing which i'm looking for is post install uh, basically post install steps so right now if you see i'm running docker as root but i don't actually want that i want a non-privileged user to run docker so for that let's go to this and let's see what steps are there so manage docker as a non root user so let's just do what they've done run docker so group already exists great and i need to switch to a non privileged user so let me see if i can switch to user tarik so there is no user Tarek, so let's just add 
now let's switch to Tarek great now let's go back to root user again so that I'm able to perform these steps So I've you added user Tarek to Docker group. Now let's switch back to user Tarek and go to home directory. Let me clear the screen. And now let's run any Docker command and see if we are able to run it. So let's do a Docker version. And great. So now we are able to run Docker as a non-privileged user. All right. So. I think there is nothing uh, system CTL I uh, yeah so we've covered everything in for this video so this was just a basic introduction how you can run uh, I mean how you can install docker on a CentOS machine and how you can run your first container so I hope you like the video uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and let me know if you have any questions related to installation or running your containers so this was just I mean we are just touching the base uh, so that we can go deep into the more advanced concepts in the future videos uh, since it's a beginner's course for apps i mean it's a course for absolute beginners so i'm just treating you like a five year old so please don't mind if i'm telling you very cliched thing or very obvious thing right all right so yeah this is it for this video guys please subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching